Welcome to Investec India. To win any game, you should know, rules and strategies of the game. Same way, to make money in share market, you should learn, some basics but refined calculations. Only few people, make money in the share market, because they know, how to play the game of investing. If you will start, learning and understanding, the concepts and calculations, of the marker, you will be in the circle of, winners. Before investing money, you should invest, your time. Learn to earn. Today you will learn, what is dividend, dividend yield, and dividend yield calculation. Once you will understand the concept, you will have an upper hand while investing, and may guide, to your friends, relatives, neighbors, and, all other nears and dears also. Dividend. When you are investing money, in saving bank accounts, term deposits, recurring deposits, public provident fund, and in any post office saving schemes or certificates, you will receive, interest. But, if you will invest, in shares of a company, your returns will be paid as, dividend. Buying the shares, of a particular company, means, you have invested your money, in the business of that company, and you are the, partner of the company. So being a partner, you will be sharing, the profits, and losses of the company. If the company will make profit, that will be your profit, and in case of loss, you will be, at loss. The profits of the company, may be distributed to the shareholders. That profit will be divided to the shareholders as, dividend. In case of saving instruments, such as, saving bank accounts, term deposits, recurring deposits, public provident fund, and any post office saving schemes or certificates, rate of interest will be fixed in advance, for the, specific period, at the time of, investment. But in case of shares, dividend may vary, year on year basis, based on earning of the particular company, and, management decisions. Normally, only profitable companies pay out dividends. Therefore, companies that have paid, significant dividends, for an extended period of time, are considered as good companies. Dividend Yield Dividend yield indicate, the absolute returns on investments, ROI, as on investing day, and will be calculated, on last dividend paid by the company. If you have purchased shares of XYZ company, at the rate of rupees 100 per share, company has given dividend of, rupees 10 per share, your dividend yield will be 10%, means returns on your investments of rupees 100, will be rupees 10. So your dividend yield is 10% per annum. If you have invested, in any particular company, and company maintains the dividend, at the same rate, your dividend yield, remain the same. If company gives more dividends, then your yield will be higher, and vice versa. If the dividend is declared as percentage, then it should be calculated to, dividend per share, for dividend yield purpose. It will be calculated, with the face value of the share. Dividend per share equals to, face value, multiplied by, rate of dividend, and, divided by 100. If a particular company declares a dividend, of 70%, and the face value of the share is, rupees 10. It means company will pay dividend of rupees 7 per share. 10 multiplied by 70 divided by 100 equals to 7. Most of the companies are giving dividend, on an annual basis, but some are paying some portion, on quarterly and half yearly basis also. For dividend yield purpose, the total dividend paid in, full, financial year will be used. Dividend yield calculation. The formula for dividend yield calculation is, dividend yield equals to, dividend per share, divided by, current market price of the share. For example, let's assume you own 100 shares of company XYZ, 
which pays rupees 7 per share as annual dividend. If the current stock price is rupees 50, then using the formula, we can calculate that the dividend yield on company XYZ stock is dividend yield equals to dividend per share divided by current share price 7 divided by 50 equals to 0.14 for percentage purpose multiply by 100 0.14 multiplied by 100 equals to 14 so dividend yield will be 14 percent please note that there will be inverse relationship between stock price and dividend yield when the price of the share will be high, the dividend yield will be low, and when the price of the share will fall the yield will be higher. Further note that, the dividend stays the same, meaning, even though the stock price falls, or rises, you still receive rupees 7 per share, unless the company changes the dividend. Conclusion Dividend yield may be considered as, interest on your investment higher dividend yield means a higher interest so if you want to buy share for a long term for good returns through dividend wait for the opportunity when the overall market will fall or particular stock price will go down the dividend yield will be higher to understand how you may use dividend yield for investing and earning returns better than saving bank accounts term deposits, post office certificates and PPF EPF plus long term capital appreciations. Please see our next video. How to earn better returns, using dividend yield. For any query or question, do write. Please click, like and subscribe. Thank you very much.